hi good morning everyone let's get started with next topic which is on downloading the software for sap solution manager okay to download the software we need to go to this url called service.sap.com slash swdc which stand for software download content okay so let's go and to this particular url and here you can see that there are different things here on the extreme left side we need to see if we are going for a new installation we can come here and look for installation and upgrades okay and then click on browse our download catalog okay and in this you can look for sap technology components okay under that you can see there are you can see this is called solution manager sap solution manager just click on that and you can see the different versions of solution manager which is available for download okay now you can select this one because this is the one which is the most current one and we recommend people to go for sap solution manager 7.1 okay if we click on this okay and at the bottom you will see that okay here you can see that there are different things which is which can be downloaded if we are going for a new installation we need to click here if we are going for an upgrade we need to click here and okay so we will go now what can be done is that we need to decide based on the company's platform whether the company is running on say AIX or Windows or Linux or HPUX or Solaris you need to click on the respective database okay say for example i need this to be installed on microsoft platform so i will just click on microsoft and there are different versions of databases which is available depending on what your company has you can click say for example oracle or whatever database you have if you have sybase ac so you can select the respective database so now this will give you a download page for solution manager 7.1 with the operating system as windows and database as oracle okay, if we go down here you can see that the different download cds is uploaded here we can download them okay so you can see that these are the different cds which is available here and the most important thing what we need to take note of is here this is Oracle client is installed. You have uh, SAP Solution Manager here. Okay, then you have the database for Oracle. Okay, then you can say, for example, if you have selected for 64, you can select x64 if it is a 64 bit x64 machine. Okay, then this is the export dump which is there. Okay, and this is the language pack which is available java component excel controller then the kernel is here you can select the kernel depending on your requirements say for example your recommended thing is you should go for sr1 unicode kernel 720 windows server uh, x64 okay so this is the most recent one which comes with this product Okay, and you can see the version for this it is 7.1 service pack 8 okay and this you have these the download for them you can select all okay and remove whatever you don't want or you can just select the required components okay and click on add to the download basket and start downloading it okay so this is the process to download sap solution manager Okay, now let's see one more thing is we will see how we can download the tool set so basically the installer let's see the installer first so that is using swpm okay, that is that stand for software provisioning manager okay, software provisioning manager so this tool is standard across all the installation we have software provisioning manager so let's go back on this particular page here you can see 
the in this page itself you have this so what we have seen is the installation software here next thing is we can download the software provisioning manager from here if we click on this okay it will take you to the download page for software provisioning manager okay, so here you can see that different for different OS depending on what OS you want to install software provisioning manager okay say we have windows x64 64 bit you can just click here and it will show okay these are the things that can be downloaded okay in this one you can see that there is a software provisioning manager 1.0 for netweaver higher than 7.0 and this is for system based on 7.1 x or higher Okay, so based on that you need to download the respective okay so this is actually this product software provisioning manager this tool is standard across most of the SAP installations so using this you can do your ACC installation BW installations ERM installation ABAP based installation Java based installation okay so this product can be downloaded from here Okay, then next thing I wanted to show is some of the key thing is SL tool set so basically this is the URL for that so let me show you how this looks like okay, let me copy paste this okay Okay, so this is taking you to that SL toolset page. Okay, on SL toolset page, what we will see is we will see that what can be downloaded, which are the components which fall under SL toolset. Okay, so those are the components that we can download from there. Okay, here you can see that this is SL toolset. Okay, let's stand for software logistic toolset and the version is 1.0 and okay so basically we are in this particular SL toolset click on this software logistic toolset 1.0 okay and now on this page you can see that this is your software provisioning manager the current version that is available is 1.0 SCP. Okay, so you can download that particular tool set. Okay, now all these files will be in dot sar format. Okay, so what is that dot sar format? It's dot sar file. It's not like a dot xls or dot zip file. So for this, you will require to download a product called uh, SAP car. So depending on so the download that is required is sapcar so you need to download that sapcar to uncar these files so how do you do that is sapcar minus xvf and whatever file you have downloaded dot sar so this will extract the files that is downloaded so this is exactly similar to the uh, tar utility if you have worked on unix or uh, unzip utility Okay, but X is stand for the extraction. Okay, F is for the ver verbal mode and F is forceful. Okay, so this is how you can extract any of the SAR files. Okay, so this is pretty much I wanted to cover in this particular training session. Thank you for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.